Quick, how are you? I'm Jenny from Joblo. I'm good, how are you doing? I'm very well. Um, tell me why you wanted to play the part of the Night Owl. And were you a fan of the comic book? I, I didn't know it uh, before, but I as soon as I got the script, I called my buddy, who was a big comic fan, and I said, all right, Watchmen, what do you got? He just said, oh, God. Um, and he said, if you're ever to do a comic book movie, this is the one to do. I mean, I, I, I certainly found pretty quickly uh, that this was pretty sacred ground. So, And I just, I just, I got Dan. I just really, when I read it, I identified with him. I love the royal, I love the arc, I love his travel, and... Throughout the throughout the course of the script, so I jumped at it. If I was, you know, I, I heard you gained a lot of weight for the part. I gained a bit. And tell me a little bit about your character. I, I don't. What is going on? <laughs> I don't. Even, I'm sorry. What are you asking? I said, well, tell me a little bit about your ridiculous. Oh, well, I played Dan Dryberg, who was the Night Owl 2, and he's uh, retired at the beginning, as they all are. And you sort of get the feeling that he probably retired too early, and um, he, he befriends Hollis Mason, who was the original Night Owl, and, uh, you know, they're f friends, and you sort of feel like he's probably friends to sort of see how Hollis has fit back into society, and, um, and he's really just trying to find his way back into his own skin. He's very uncomfortable in his own skin, and that's sort of the metaphor with him in the suit. It's like he only feels like a man in the suit. And how is this uh, film different than other superhero films? Oh man, well I think it's got to start with the source material. I mean, this source material is just unbelievable. Not to take anything away from anything, any other, any other comics, but you know, when this, when this graphic novel came out, it, you know, it, 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 I felt like it sort of probably uh, uh, pulled a rug out from under a lot of, you know, really deconstructing characters and the flawed characters and the metafiction and the, you know, it's very dense stuff. So, um, you know, and set in a world, I always sort of say, well, well, describe Watchmen. Well, it's a, it's in a world where the where we won Vietnam and Nixon's still president. So that's, you know, that's already like, huh? <laughs> well, that's sort of what happened. Uh, did you did you do any training for the part? Or, or did you do your own stunt work? I did a lot of training. You know, I mean, I, I you know, I gained, ro I gained, oh, you were talking about that before, yes. Um, I gained, yeah, I mean, we trained a lot. We did a lot of that, uh, a lot of the, um, the stunts as much as you can do and sort of that's always the vibe as much as you're allowed as much as you can do and we luckily we had great stunt guys and did a lot of different uh, karate and different types of uh, martial arts great thank you so much I'm looking forward to it take care you too. Yeah. It's nice to meet you Billy nice to meet you I'm Jenny from Joblo.com so tell me about your role you play Dr. Manhattan I do I do tell me about your character oh okay um, he's a physicist who gets uh, kind of annihilated and a particle accelerated but his uh, consciousness remains intact and he puts all the pieces of his body back together as a superhuman and in the process of doing that he becomes a master of all matter and time it, was it difficult to play him I, I know it was in CGI right it, it was uh, yeah I don't have any experience being the master of matter you know so that that part was a bit of a challenge um, but working with Zach um, was uh, a really exotic, exciting experience. So he he helped keep it all together for me. <laughs> so did Zach approach you, or did you want the part? I mean, how, how did uh, that happen? No, he he approached me. I've never been really good about like you know going after stuff and being like I was born to play Catwoman, so I'm gonna. No, that would be a good part for me. Um, so uh, I think you know basically this movie uh, exists kind of in the world of the amoral uh, where they're trying to figure out very complicated things and he does it in the most dynamic way and in the context of you know uh, superhero movies so uh, most of the parts that I've played the, guy, the characters have been kind of in a gray world you know you don't know if they're good guys or bad guys they're just trying to figure it out so maybe Zach uh, was interested in me for that reason well you're a great actor and, and how did he finally win you over just, I mean, the way he wins everybody over. I mean, he's just hysterical and intelligent and dynamic, and I got an absolute man crush on him. Wonderful. I yeah. think we all do. Yeah. Thank you so much. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you. Thanks a lot.